A hill with thousands and thousands of crosses. There's some sound coming through. 14,000 crosses. V is Ukraina. He can make me a cup of English tea. It's phenomenal, guys, so fabulous. Greetings to all of you from the middle of nowhere in Lithuania. And I've come to visit a place that I've been wanting to see for a long, long time. And it's this, the Hill of Crosses. A hill with thousands and thousands of crosses. Unlike its neighboring country, Latvia, where the predominant religion is Lutheran, here it's very much Catholic. Because of its Polish ties, Lithuania is a very, very devout Catholic country. When you drive along the highways, just like in Poland, you can see a lot of statues and crucifixes along the road. It's a grim day. What a perfect time to show you guys the Hill of Crosses. And I've been wanting to see this for a while. I'm the only person here and tell you a little bit about it. And look, on May 24th, 2022, unfortunately, I can't read what it was, but that's recent. The history says that this all began in 1831, I think it was. There was a rebellion against the Russian Empire. The relatives of the people that perished during that rebellion put crosses here in memory of they're brave. There was no way that the Tsar, at the time I think was Nicholas I, don't quote me on that. There's some news coming through. There's some sound coming through. I don't know from where. Seems to be Ukrainian. Prayers, some chants as well. Super eerie guys over here. Anyway, during the 19th century, there were as many as, I think, 14,000 crosses. And then an official count in 1900 brought the number to 120, 120 crosses. Now you can imagine that during the Soviet times, none of this would have been allowed. So it's always surprising to me when I see things like this in countries that struggled with their religion under the Soviet regime, you know, they would still stand today. And it's just crazy the amount of crosses here. And obviously, during the Soviet era, they got rid of loads of these. Most of them, I think, you know, the wooden ones were used as firewood. The metal ones sold as scrap. I don't know, guys. I've never seen so many crosses in my life just laid out like that. <laughs> It's a good thing that the place is not all covered in snow right now as you would imagine it would be this time of year because a lot of these would be missed and it's really mind-boggling the amount of crosses. Literally there are little winding alleys in between the crosses. Hello, hello, how are you? English? Ah, Ukraine. We is Ukraina. Chuchut na Ruska? Troshki Razumim Ukrainski. Anglia, England. Молодцы. О, супер. Просто, да. Просто а, для нас. Очень такое место. Его при, при России сносили, люди опять сюда приходили. Да. Тут чувствуется такая энергия, да, да, да очень... Да. Э... Я тут уже не один раз, вот это жена первый раз. А, это ваша жена, да? Да. С приездом. Я первый раз здесь сегодня. Но я, очень я интересно. Тоже, 
Откуда? Лондон. Да, Лондон, именно Лондон. Лондон. У меня да? сын, сын к вам ездит, тоже драйвер. А, он да. тоже водитель, да? да. Ну, Фуры такие в, большие, в, да? В Литве, да. Уже давно здесь живете? Да, пять лет. А, почти литовец. Почти француз, почти А вы были французы? Нет. Вы были итальяны? Все, Не, ну мы трошки, по, трошки. По, по Европе ездят. Мы по, по, по своей работе, ну, загрузка, выгрузка. Ну, а скажите мне, если не первый раз здесь, э, здесь, а где можно вкусно цепелины есть здесь недалеко? Знаете место? Э, в Шауляе. Прямо в Шауляе? Да. В сторону Шауляе будешь ехать, а с левой стороны будет кафе такое большое. Да? Но там его вкусно делать. Там э, чисто национально литовское... Как раз что я ищу. В самом шауляе много, где хорошо вкусно готовят. Именно любое литов... кафе, литов... литовские блюда. Любое кафе. А Цепелина. там будет там э, борщ с пампушки. Есть. Все есть. Борщ есть. есть. А вы из каком города в Украине? И как вам здесь Литва нравится? Первый Нет. раз? Первый. Красиво. Красиво, да? А здесь будете жить сейчас или Нет. обратно на Нет, Украину скоро? Обратно. Я к мужу приехала. Ну, правильно? Все. Ну там и как, как ситуация там не, не чуть-чуть э, трудно? У нас, у нас так, у нас трошки не дуже стреляют, но все равно. А вы из а, Днепропетровск? Да. То ага. такой же день. Дай Бог, это все заканчивается быстро. Да, Мир да. надо. Счастливо. Вам тоже. До свидания. Вам Очень приятно было. So how interesting was that? The only other people here, and they decided to put a cross. Yeah, the lady spoke to me in Ukrainian. It was written in Ukrainian. Didn't quite understand what it was for, but I'm sure it's related to, to what's going on right now over there. Yeah, they recommended a place to eat that is on the way to the main town where they have traditional Lithuanian food. And my thought is, whilst we're here, there is no way we're going back without having some local delicacies. Let's see what we can find, guys. Let's go. Same shit, different day. Good start. You wanna sit? You yeah, wanna no, we here? wanna eat, yeah? Is the food right. good, yeah? Okay, it's a good thing. Do you have uh, Lithuanian food? Yes, we do have Lithuanian okay. food. Okay, you're going to guide me then. Bon appetit. How's the food? Very good. You speak English? Lovely, enjoy. Friendly bunch, aren't they? Now this, Young Lithuanian fella has said he can make me a cup of English tea. <laughs> Seeing that it's a shitty cold weather, I'm gonna try your English tea. All right. Good. Let's see what it's like. Oh, it's hot milk. That, yeah, yeah, that's the way how we make English tea. You make English Lithuania. tea with hot milk in Lithuania? Yes. And it's Royal Earl Grey. Lovely. Let's, uh, let's see what this tea's all about and order with this young man. We'll get some advice. So what I, what I want here, mate, I want to try a few things because I want to share it with my viewers, right? So I want one Zeppelin eye with curd cheese, yeah. fried, dumplings with mushrooms, with no bacon bits, potato patties with mushroom sauce, beef tongue. Thank you, Arimas. You're welcome, mister. Guys, I just told this guy that we were at the Hill of Crosses and he said to me, that it's the scariest place in all of Lithuania. Oh, yes, what made it scary for you? No, but someone is still breaking something. Oh, I need to bring my cross there. I need to bring my cross there. It's so creepy for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's only my own opinion. So why do people take crosses there? Because they are believing God, I guess. Oh, That's why. makes sense. But anyway, if you are in Lithuania, you have to visit that place. And come and see my friend Larimas here for some great food. I'll leave the, the address of this place in the description if you're ever in Shaoliai or Shaoliai. Well, anyways, I'll leave the description if the food's any good. But so far, it looks the part, so let's see. And this is their tea. I asked for English tea, they brought me Old Grey, which, all right, with warm milk, but better than nothing. So, let's see what the food's like. Yeah. You're a YouTuber, yeah? Yeah, I am. Can I find you? Yeah. Find you? Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, of watch course. all my videos. I of want course. you to go back. Two years and comment on everyone. Okay, enjoy your <laughs> Anyway, guys, the first dish they've brought is beef tongue. I absolutely love this stuff if cooked properly and typical to be served with some horse radish. Let's see what's what it's like. And of course, the Lithuanian black bread. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put some of this, I guess it's mayonnaise. Can't go wrong with mayo. 
And by the way, in the Baltics, they have fantastic mayonnaise. Hands have been washed. Lovely slice of some horseradish. Now, if you're not used to horseradish, you can have quite a, quite a good kick to it. So after this, I'll let you know whether I'm gonna put this address in the description or not. Except for being super messy, it's phenomenal, guys. So the address is going in the description. Next on the menu, they've brought me these amazing dumplings which look a bit like the Polish pirogi or the Ukrainian vareniki. And as always, served with some sour cream, so. Mushrooms, so intense. Top marks for that um, Ukrainian truck driver. He really sent me to an amazing place, so fabulous. So guys, as always, I've ordered like a madman. There's no way I'm finishing all this, I'll take it home. But right here are the traditional seppellinis with cheese. It's the first time I've seen them offered fried. I've had them before where they kind of like just mashed potatoes, but these are, they just look tremendous. Take a look at that, guys. No food in this part of the world would be complete without your sour cream. They put sour cream on absolutely everything, so. And I absolutely love this stuff, so I'm not complaining. And let's see what this is like. It sounds crunchy. Here, listen to this, guys. I don't know if you can hear this. Lovely. I bet it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna blister my mouth with this, but I can't wait. Lovely. But wait for them to cool down. I can't even remember what I've ordered, guys. I'm saying finally these, but it might, there might be more stuff coming. I've no idea. But these are the traditional potato pancakes. I know them in Russian as draniki, and they are absolutely delicious. They're served with a lovely mushroom sauce. And honestly, for me, I think I may have saved the best for last, although it's all good. Mm. Mushroom sauce is so potent, so intense. You really feel the mushrooms. Potato pancakes are good, but honestly, the ones I make are even better. I'm gonna fish, finish up my dinner here, and I hope you enjoyed this short visit to Xiaoliai and the Hill of Crosses. And by the way, the food here is phenomenal. I'm definitely gonna put the link in the description below how you can find this place. But anyways, enjoy your journey.